So, you know, a couple days ago, my power went out because, you know, massive storm in the area, no big deal. And I was thinking, all right, fine, you know, Valorant matches just aren't going to happen, you know? But then, uh, the power didn't come on the day after. And then, wow, holy shit, it went so hard. Uh, the power didn't come on for the next day. Or the next day after that. Or the day after that. I was out, out of power for 68 hours total. Trust me, I count it. Well, I didn't count. I just know exactly when it turned on, exactly where it turned off. But, yeah. 68 hours. Not even hitting 69, by the way. But 68 hours of no power. But I'm not even mad about that. I can handle no power. I can, I can deal with that. But what I couldn't handle was the absolute shitternet being given by fucking AT&T. I swear to God, never get AT&T in your goddamn life. And I'm about to tell you why. Oh my God, that shit sucks. All right. So, you know, day one, it's like, all right, I don't have power. It's it's like 1230 at night. And I'm like, all right, you know what? Maybe it's enough Valorant for today. I'm just going to stop playing. And I'm going to go to bed and power's going to be fine in the morning. And it wasn't. But you know what? That's fine. Because I have my friends on Discord to cheer me up. You know, I can talk to them through that, and my phone doesn't fucking work because I don't have data. You know what? That's fine. I'm just, I'm going to fucking Panera anyways for food, you know? It's alright. Everything's A-OK. -okay. And then I go to Panera, I have food, and then I come back home, and I still don't have service. That's a bit odd. But you know what? It's okay. I'll just deal with it. It'll come back on, right? It didn't come back on. It never did, actually. And so I'm like, all right, fine, fuck it. It's just going to be annoying like this. And so I'm just sitting there on my phones trying to play Angry Birds. The new one, by the way. Speaking of which, uh, Angry Birds 2 kind of sucks, not going to lie. Compared to the original, it's got, like, some ads and lives and shit. It's, it's, it's bad. The original's better. Uh, I wish I had that instead. But, you know, ads and uh, ads, which requires, you know, shocker, internet. Now, I was just trying to, you know, get on by. And, you know, live my life with just fucking random bubble pop game. And Angry Birds to spend eight hours of my life with no power. And on the hottest days of the summer, might I add, I literally couldn't do anything but play Angry Birds. Uh, this is a long tangent about Angry Birds. Anyways, point is, no internet made the ads made super fucking annoying because they wouldn't fucking load. And then I would just sit there in silence in the dark just... Staring at my phone, wondering where the fuck did I go wrong in my life? To have to. God damn, that was. That had racial intent behind it. Anyways, where did I go wrong in life to end up staring at my phone screen in my living room, just in the complete darkness, waiting for Angry Birds to load? What did life do to me? Or what did I do to life to deserve that treatment? I didn't. Okay, well, I don't deserve this treatment either. God damn. But anyways. The so day one is kind of... Okay, hold on. Pause. I need to... What the fuck? <laughs> anyways. Day one pa goes by and I'm like, alright. Well, I'm just kind of coping at this point. Just waiting for power to come back. But, of course, it's not because... It, because, well... Big storm. A lot of trees fell down, actually. It was kind of crazy. Like, low-key, I was walking around and shit, it was, it was bad. Yeah, no, I touched grass, uh, but it, it was, it was mad crazy. There's so many fallen trees and shit, and, like, everywhere around my area. AT&T is kind of like the key, uh, punching bag of this whole thing, because, well, turns out, not only did I not have cell service, my parents didn't have cell service, and my neighbors didn't have cell service. It was really funny, because beginning of day two, uh, my neighbors were like, hey, do you have cell service? And we were like, nope, you have AT&T? And they're like, yup. Now there's a little bit of a trend coming on, and I'm like, alright, you know what, fuck this. I'm gonna try and call AT&T. And, uh... Now, you see, I tried calling AT&T, but I can't, can't call AT&T if I don't have the fucking cell service to call AT&T with. It's like an infinite cycle where I... It, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy or whatever the fuck. I don't care enough. Because AT&T doesn't deserve my time enough to me to figure the fuck... Whatever the fuck it is. I'm saying fuck a lot, but you understand what I mean, right? I hope. I hope I'm making sense. Anyways. 
I ended up like driving out somewhere just so I can get cell service to call. And I'm in the car and I'm like talking to, uh, talking to them and they're like, all right, so we're gonna have to call you back and then tomorrow we'll call you back and then we'll test it out, all right? We're gonna figure out whether it's your phone or whether it's your uh, cell tower in your bot because it was undergoing maintenance recently. Now, a bit of lore, um, it's not maintenance. This has been a problem. What the fuck? Okay, I thought he was back there near the op. Anyways, a uh, bit of a lore drop. It's been going on for months. It's happened at, at school. It's happening at my house. It's happening at the fucking market near my house. It's crazy. And so I'm trying my best to fucking live. And then every single turn of my life, AT&T's cucking me. So now cut to the present day. I'm telling AT&T this one. They're like, ah, we want to check your phone anyway. And we want to check if it's a cell tower. Because it might just be like it's fucked up after service maintenance. And I'm like, you know what? Fine. I'll give you the time of day. And they're like, all right. We're going to call you back at 11 o'clock. Uh, no, 10 o'clock tomorrow. So anyways, I'm sitting at this Panera. It's like day two or something. I don't know. I've fucking lost track. AT&T can suck my balls. And so... I'm just waiting at this Panera. It's like 940. I'm waiting for them to call, you know, because 10 o'clock, right? And no, 940. They haven't called. Makes sense, right? It hasn't hit 10 yet. And I'm just sitting there eating my Chipotle chicken fucking sandwich. I don't even know. And uh, either way, it was really good. Anyways, sitting there eating. Haven't called. And then now it's 10 o'clock. And I'm like, all right. That's a, it, it, I'm just waiting around. 10, 10. Okay, they haven't called yet, but that's fine. It's customer service. It'll take a moment. 10.15, 10.20, they still haven't called, and now I'm a bit concerned. Like, okay, why aren't they calling me back? Am I ever going to get fucking cell service? I'm only at this Panera to, well, one, eat, I need food, this power is still out, and two, I need cell service, because goddamn, I'm not going to find it at home. And so, I'm just waiting. 10.40 something, and I'm like with my dad, and my dad's like, hey, have they called you yet? And, I mean, he's been sitting there next to me the whole time. He knows they haven't called me. I don't know why he asked. But he did. And I'm like, nope. They still haven't called. And customer service, typical customer service fashion, uh, actually, they didn't even call when you complain about them. They they kept me ghosted until 11.17. I remember the time it's imprinted in my fucking mind. 11.17 is when they called me back, and they're like, all right. And this, at this point, I don't think I'm, like, on the way home. And then I'm like, all right, bet. Just let me, let me. Uh, yeah, actually, no, I'm at home at this point because I wasn't waiting at Panera for, like, two half, uh, two hours. Because I was got there at, like, nine. And uh, so I'm just, I somehow magically get the call. And they're like, okay, let's reset, uh, let's reset your phone. And I'm like, okay, why? They're like, oh, don't worry, it's not going to reset, it's not going to reset anything. Like, bitch, you just told me to reset my phone. <laughs> and they're like, oh, no. Uh, I, of course, I didn't say that word for word. Customer service, they don't really deserve to yell at. Don't do that to your customer service uh, helpers. Be nice to them. It's the rep's fault. It's, the, it's not the rep's fault. It's the fucking CEO. I'll get to that later. Anyways. They were like, oh, it was just reset your network. You just go to reset network preferences. And I'm like, oh, that makes sense. All right, sure. I'll do it. And then they are like... I'm like, wait, hold on. If it's going to reset my network preferences, it's probably going to reset the call, right? You're going to call me back, I hope. And they're like, yeah, just give it two to three minutes. And I did. And I waited two to three minutes. And then I waited ten minutes. And then I waited half an hour. And then I waited a whole fucking day. One full day, and they never called back. It's been three days post I will call you back. At in three minutes, and I still haven't received a call from AT&T. Those motherfuckers have me by the balls, waiting for a call that is probably never going to come again. Now, granted, I'll give this to them. They probably tried to call me, but at and service is so dog shit that it wouldn't let them reach me because I didn't have cell service still. So now, I'm just sitting here like, what the fuck else am I supposed to do? Because it's day two, I don't get power for another 
I, well, I don't know this at the time, but I don't get power for another 48 something hours. Not 48. I can't count. Uh, like 32 some, 36 something hours. Between that time, I'm just sitting in my room. Not even in my room. My room is too hot at that point. It's the hottest days of the year. I think it's 90 something degrees in my room. It's 80 something on the main floor, and then in the basement, it's like somewhat cool. It's, it's like. 76 something degrees which isn't bad it feels relatively cooler but that's because i'm living in a cooker for the like for the, in the other floors of my house so what else am i supposed to do except fucking wait in misery and now i understand how ungrateful this sounds but god damn i wish i had some power or internet connection if atn if i had like fucking t-mobile or verizon i wouldn't have been so miserable for the 70 sorry 68 hours i was out of power i wouldn't be scarred i wouldn't be talking about this right now right now this is probably the equivalent of like a therapist session me yelling into the mic while playing tdm this is probably the uh, probably equivalent to court mandated therapy okay i'm just letting y'all know this this works this is helping me all i dead i thought that was a teammate I did. I thought that was a teammate. <laughs> at and got me in that vice grip so hard. I don't even know, recognize friend from foe anymore. All right. Everybody's against me. Everybody's fucking against me, man. <laughs> Anyways, for the next, like, four, uh, 36 something hours. I do fuck all. I keep playing Angry Birds. I play this new Polytopia game that I managed to fucking download with like negative upload speed or download speed because of, you know, lack of fucking cell data and cell signal. I don't know how I did it, but I ended up downloading it. Had a little bit of blind fun, you know. It got boring after a while because, you know, I was doing it for 30 fucking hours. Well, not straight, but you get the deal. I barely slept because I was sleeping in the basement on a recliner couch that didn't really actually fully recline. And so, I felt like wanting to die. And the heat didn't help. And, you know, everything compounded. Stuff in the fridge started to stink. The basement, my one safe haven, started to, like, smell like shit. It was wonderful. Great time to be alive. Third day, we ended up just going out places. Just, like, went to Best Buy to get a new monitor for me. This bike shop down near the college I'm going to. We drove all the way to my fucking college and back, and we still didn't have power. Anyways. I don't know. It's, what, Wednesday going into Thursday right now? I'm recording this at night. And, uh, what? It happened, started, this problem started, I don't know, Saturday? AT&T has been living rent-free in my mind for five fucking days. Five days, all right? And, well, the reason I have me withholding a fucking knife as my current live reaction is because I want to fucking fight the CEO of AT&T. John T. Stanky, that name is embedded in my mind. I will fight that man as soon as I see him on site, all right? No holds barred. That my man needs... Okay, I think I can't say more about this on the internet because this will actually get me in trouble. Uh, but... Inc insane vitriol towards this man, all right? Never buy AT&T. And also to cap this all off, here's a little goofy story about uh, my power company. So local power company, not going to be named because it can or slash will dox me. I don't know, but. Pfeiffer, what are you doing, man? Anyways, local power company, uh, hadn't restored the power for 68 hours, and right, bad storm, but it got to the point where it was comedic, alright? The streets around me got power, alright? So, like, my street is, like, this real, it's really long, and, like, two streets intersect it, alright? Like, I'm gonna, just gonna say north and south, alright? Just for easy directions. It was at night, and then we saw the south side street get power. And then it was the morning, and then we saw the north side street had power. And we were like, what the fuck, you know? We're sandwiched in between them. Why don't we have power, right? Turns out power grids don't work like that, yada, 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 some um, smart shit. And um, basically, we don't have power, which sucks. But it got even more comedic, because then it was like, 
they send out these text blasts to like the the account holders and it texted everybody on my street hey power restored near your address of course redacted because you know i'm not gonna fucking dox myself on the internet what do you think i am five and uh, so it doesn't go anywhere and obviously all of us are like what the fuck that's obviously not true because well we're flipping light switches and nothing's turning on and i'm just wondering man this is really funny when's it actually gonna give me power that was like day two Day three, we were. Uh, I actually got like internet connection somehow to fucking load the the power company's website where it would show me the ETA, and I guess something glitched because when I put in my home address, it would say, "Nope, nothing, no power outage found. Nothing's the issue. No ETA on uh um restoration." But I when I clicked on the map, it said, "All right, it's gonna restore at 1:30. 1:30 rolls around, power's not restored yet." Uh, then power is restored at 3. Power is not restored at 3, but a couple of my friends got power around 3 o'clock, which is really cool. Then, uh, it said 6 o'clock. Power came, uh, power around 6 o'clock? Nope, not at all. And then it's at 8 o'clock, and I'm molding. I'm in, I'm in a fucking Discord server talking about, alright, I'm about to spite the CEO of this power company as well. If I don't get my f fucking power back... On top of fighting the CEO of AT&T, Mr. John T. Stanky. I don't even think he deserves the title of Mr., by the way. That man is... Hmm. Doesn't deserve any formalities whatsoever. And so, it's 8 o'clock. And then me and my family are like, okay, what the fuck, man. We were promised power. It's 8 o'clock. And then I'm just standing out on the patio trying to get fucking... Well, guess, guess what? A fucking cell connection. Trying to load the website, seeing, okay, is it going to be updated to 10 o'clock at night now? I mean, that would be up to, like, the general trend of how fast it's been going up, or at the rate it's been going up. And then, I shit you not, not even comedic timing, as I say, man, it would be really funny if it was just a couple minutes late. I turn around and the power is on. It's straight up comedic timing. I'm typing, trying to type this up in a message to my friends, and lo and behold, the lights on in my house because we left it on. And I don't think I, I popped off more at that than I popped off in Aces and Valor. Man, I where the fuck did that breach come from? I popped off more in that moment than I have in Aces. All right, and if that doesn't say how, how like. How much I was struggling to get through those past four days, the past like three, four days. Well, I hope that will. <laughs> oh, wait. I. Okay, well, I fucked it up. <laughs> Increased anger has made my gameplay deteriorate over the course of this recording, I think. Anyways. Now that my power's back and I can use Wi-Fi instead of like you know relying on my cell my cell data, which is still a fucking problem by the way. AT&T has not called me back. It's Wednesday. They said it would call me back on fucking Sunday. They haven't. It's awful. I hate life. It life is miserable. All right, what is this fuck we're gonna die, bro? This is actually Loki annoyance on my behalf, not yours or theirs. Now that my power is back, I'm actually gonna like you know stream make videos shocker actually access shit on my pc that i meant to like edit three weeks ago and you know actually make content and i hopefully think to go uphill from here but if not well i have john t stanky to redirect my feelings all right and with that god damn don't buy internet no buy internet from at&t don't buy cell service from at&t it's fucking horrible Never do it. Worst mistake of my goddamn life. <laughs> oh, yo, the Harbor the Goat. I'm just gonna play this out. Let's see how well this goes. It's not gonna go that well, but maybe I can get the fast, like, last like five kills, maybe? God damn. I have no util and it's uh 
Let's game. Twenty two twenty. All right. Well, hopefully my next video isn't as strange as this. See you guys.